moving through our times is not as easy as it seems. But we want to make a difference. And we choose to be on, on the sunny, sunny side. side. Father Saturnino Urias University launches on the sunny side. Wednesdays from 10.30 to 11.30 in the morning. Live from our official FB pages and YouTube channel. When things don't seem to make sense, we choose to be on, on the, the sunny side. side.
Good day, Orients. I'm Sir Al, your junior high school and senior high school math teacher. Hello, Orients. I'm Guide Enya, your elementary guidance counselor. Welcome, Welcome to, to On, on the, the Sunny Side. Side. Now, before we proceed with our topics for today, for um, discussing with our issues, we would like to greet the people who are watching right now. We have Maria Teresa Rosario Dolfo is watching with us. Hello. By the way, guys, um, students and audience as well, please do hit the like button so that we will be on top of the news feed of our friends so that our messages, our the things that we are going to discuss today will, will be reaching out to more people. Yes, and we would like to remind you, if ever the video goes to a pause or a stop, you can always go to our pages and rewatch this video. Right, we also have PG Ann Cornites watching with us right now. And also, Emmanuel Janmiano. Sir Eman, hello! <laughs> what? Hello, Norelli Hampak. Oh, Norelli Hampak is from grade 10, right? Our student, yes. grade 10 student. Yes, and we also have from our grade school, Gabriel Avery Ramirez. And we have uh, Kevin John Acero, one of my, advi one of my advisory students. Hi, hello, Kevin. Janine Suazo as well. Good afternoon. <laughs> so there really are a lot of viewers today and we're so happy that you're joining us. And also we are live, not just here in um, the FSU Basic Education, but across all uh, pages of FSUU and as well as in YouTube and uh, all, all the platforms that are available right now. So yes, I'm hoping that everyone will stay with us until the very end. But if you can't, it's okay. You can always rewatch this video as I said earlier. So, Mom, Enya, it has been two weeks since we started online learning, right? And I guess uh, somehow the, the school year has been blessed just this morning mm -hmm. with our traditional um, Holy Spirit Mass, which was presided by our dear Bishop, uh, Bishop Almedelia. Thank you so much, Bishop, for praying for the success of this school year. Yes, and I'm very glad that despite this pandemic, we still do these activities of having Mass. And we also do it live in online so that our students can also celebrate the Mass with us in the comforts of their homes. That's right, guide Enya. How about the students? How are you, Mom Enya? Uh, students have been busy since then. For the first week, they've been doing activities, attending their lessons, and submitting assessments in their classes. All right, for, for today's segment, we'll be focusing on the activities and some situations and issues that revolve around assessments and what, um, what assessments are really all, all, all about. Yes, and we will also be sharing updates and tips as how to go about these assessments. But of course, we will also be entertaining questions along the way. So, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comment section below and we'll be happy to answer them. So, once again, let's go back. So, we have hello to our co-teachers as well. We have Ma'am Pamela Joy Catalan and Ma'am Ann Luayon. Hello there. Hello, Thank you for watching. <laughs> By the way, guys, uh, if you don't know, Guide Enya, our, my beautiful uh, partner right here right now, uh, she's the one who's speaking behind the camera. She's the voice behind that cute anime avatar speaking in the videos for the Guidance and Counseling Office. She was the She's the voice of Guide Enya, the cute anime avatar, right? Yeah. And then she was the one also who edited and compiled the video as well. That was so great, Mom Enya. So, Mom Enya, how was your um, two weeks as a Guidance Counselor in this new normal? Well, actually, it was kind of interesting and at the same time, it was also a struggle. I could really see that everyone was adjusting. Parents, teachers, students, everyone was really just adjusting to this new normal. And you know, Sir Al, I really appreciate the parents who are giving so much effort and interest in their children's learning, despite this new normal of online learning. It's really challenging for them and for the teachers and as well as offices and I can personally say it's it was really challenging for me because I had to think of ways on how to convert our activities into online right. activities it's really it's really something that challenges your brain <laughs> you know and I think 
even teachers and parents are really having this challenging adjustment. But I know that this is just a challenge. It's something that we can go through as long as we work together. That's right, and yeah. Enya. And also, I would like to shout out to our fellow teachers, mm. our fellow teachers who are not really that um, good when it comes to technology. We, we we firsthand saw how they prepare, how they train, mm. um, so hard for this to, to prepare for the lessons. Yes. I mean, like before this, right? Mm. Uh, teachers are used to preparing lessons, just writing them down, or maybe um, encoding in word, yes. word or something like that, mm. and then go into the classroom and then that's it but in the new normal it's different right because you prepare lessons and then you prepare quizzes as well because unlike in the new normal right um, you you go into a classroom you can take the quiz with you and then conduct the quiz yes right? and there's actually a big difference when you explain to someone face to face and when you explain try to explain something to someone who's not there in front of you so it's like when it's online, it's like you're talking to a wall or something like that, right? But, you know, I can really see and I can really appreciate the efforts of our teachers of trying to adjust the lessons in a way that can be friendly to the students. And even until now, they're still adjusting and they're still trying their best to find a way to make these lessons more friendly to our students. But, pero but no, um, in the half, well, uh, with regards to uh, to mga parents, we are highly, we highly appreciate the yes. parents as well, yes. who were very patient in waiting for the lessons to be unlocked, yes. waiting for the assessments to be given, yes. and those kinds of things. And then we also have um, parents that are really uh, pushing us or motivating us that we are doing these things, and then we are we are going well um, in our implementation of this new normal or new mode of learning on any. Yes, and I really appreciate that. Even to parents who open up to us about their concerns, it's really a good thing that they are communicating with us as well. So I really appreciate that. So, Sir Al, how about you? How did your first two weeks in the new normal go? Well, uh, how can I say this? Siguro, I can say it was like a roller coaster of emotions mm -hmm. because um, maybe I'm, I'm, I myself, somehow I'm really acquainted with technology but when it comes to this uh, new normal or new mode of teaching it's quite different when it comes to I mean we cannot really connect the being a techie and then being a teacher and then uh, somehow we can say uh, uh, smooth sailing lang ang mm -hmm. new mode of learning mm -hmm. but I, I think it, it's a totally different uh, situation and then um, I personally also I am really used to traditional way of teaching yes. wherein I go um, I go inside the classroom and then make sure that every single student is doing their task or every single student is learning from what I am discussing with them. Yes. So it's really different when it's in personal and when it's distance, right? There's really a big challenge there. So... Right, when you, when you talk about distance, no? um, since we are in distance uh, learning, so um, what the, the platforms that are really used right now are the video conferencing platforms, yes, right? Yes. So, uh, what are the video conferen conferencing platforms that we have available right now? We have Zoom, Zoom particularly. Yes. Zoom is the most famous, uh, what they call this, video, platform, uh, video conferencing platform. We also have Google Meet, and then we have the newly um, created Messenger Rooms. Mm -hmm. And then, I think students are very much uh, acquainted with the, with the app called Discord. Yes. They use that when they or play games, games right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they communicate through playing games. And out of all of these um, video conferencing platforms, uh, I think that the best is Zoom. It's just that you cannot uh, unlock all the features and unless you are subscribed to a premium account, something like that. No, right? and yeah. Yes. So, but actually, even if it is um, not being used right now, we are actually working on it on how to do synchronous classes or the virtual face-to-face -face. as one parent uh, told virtual me face virtual face-to-face -face. -face. yes it's face-to-face -face. you can know because you can see through a camera <laughs> you yeah. can see your teacher on the camera and the teacher can see you on your camera so yeah virtual face-to-face -face. so we're still working on that and hopefully when it gets set up we can do more synchronous classes by then yeah, when, when it comes to 
using video conferencing platforms. I, for one, I have used the video conferencing platforms and I have tried all the four in the first week when we started school. So I tried all the four platforms. We started off with uh, Zoom. It's a good thing because I used the... Uh, it was my first time to use the FSU G Suite account mm -hmm. in using Zoom. So I was given uh, an unlimited Access. time. Diba? Ganun, ingana mo siya. Pag first pa, you are, a, you are given a gift. Diba? Yeah, yes. uh, you can, you can uh, what do you call this, exceed the time limit of 40 minutes. Yes. So the, my students were like, um, uh, were like behaved during the, the discussion, during the reminders that I, have, uh, I was giving them. And then the next day, we were using Google Meet. The thing about this is that in Google Meet, uh, there are so many features that we are looking forward to because we have we have uh, compared it somehow to Zoom. And also Messenger Rooms, ang problema, it only caters to 25 at it, once. Yes, so it's very we have limited. Like more than 25 students in a in single a class, class, right? Yes. And then, yeah, Discord is more on um, audio oh, lang. Sure. So that's, that's quite the problem. So with all of this, uh, we would like to express that even as teachers, we are really exploring. We are exploring all the options of, uh, to better handle uh, what they call this as asynchronous class. No, I mean it's it's so difficult, especially in Google Meet. It's so difficult to control the the students because in Google Meet you don't have admin privileges to mute everyone at once. You have to mute them each uh, each and every one of them. No, it's one bia kanang hassle para sa uh, and the teacher right time consuming pa siya sir tama no time consuming siya so yeah when it comes to time consuming um, i have noticed from the four days that we tried mm -hmm. the video conferencing platforms i have uh, noticed nga it takes about 20 minutes just for you to admit the students so imagine if you have 1 hour of uh, class makukuha na ang 20 minutes just by admitting the students inside the meeting room. Imagine yeah. that. So you only have 30 minutes or 40 minutes of lecture. I don't think makaya na siya sa lecture, especially if the topic is difficult, right, sir? Yeah, that's right. That's why, um, that's why for me, in my math class, I don't use, uh, what do you call it? I don't really intend to uh, do video conferencing to conduct a class. Mm -hmm. So I had agreed with my students that when we do video conferencing, when I invite them for video conferencing, it is intended for troubleshooting problems, especially sa math, na purus mga word problems, uh -oh. right? So, mag video conferencing me, it's because maybe the students uh, found difficulty, naasila yung mga problems, kadi hindi na maansiran, mm -hmm. they consult to me, and then we will discuss it and how it is going to be answered. Yes, so basically, synchronous classes for now are scheduled ahead of time right, right. Sir? so if ever there will be synchronous classes or using video conferencing applications the teachers would uh, inform parents and students ahead of time if there will be but if there's not we would be focusing more on asynchronous learning right sir? that's right um, so when it comes to video conferencing so it, let us be clear with that that it is not really scheduled it is not really uh, fix that like every uh, every every other day na I video mm, conferencing mm, so it's not like that so we need to clear out that one mm, but it depends upon the, the call of times yes. yeah, nah. so it depends upon the call of times because I think uh, there are subjects naman I'm not saying uh, simple mm -hmm. but there are subjects nga kaya gin sa bata just by reading and then studying yes. alone or with their uh, relatives or parents right or family yes so basically synchronous classes are scheduled but the schedule depends on the need if there's a need to do synchronous classes so there's no fix na as of right now na every Wednesday as what uh, Sir Al said so it's not like that it will also depend on the need and basically the scheduling is flexible flexi okay. schedule yeah it's like that. So for as of now, we'll be focusing more on asynchronous classes, which will be conducted in FSU you Learn. Yes. Okay. But some have asked, why do we use FSU you Learn? Why not use other online platforms like yeah, Google, Google Classroom. Classrooms? Yeah, right. Why not? So there's a lot of other online platforms. Why like, specifically FSU you Learn? So actually, there's a reason behind that. FSU you Learn powered by NEO Learning Management System is actually a premium 
LMS or Learning Management System. So using this kind of online platform ensures that all the data, all information that's in FSU you learn is safe and secure. So this means that everything that's in there, your lessons, the information about teachers, students, basically everything in FSU you learn is safe from hackers and outside parties. Tama, no? So that's why we need to subscribe. We need to um, get a, uh, what do you call this? Get a premium na learning management system because of maybe I'm not saying I'm not secure ang mga uban ng mga mm -hmm. platform, right? But mas mas sure ta na mm -hmm. it's secured because you're subscribing to a premium ng learning management system. Unlike sa mga open source, mm -hmm. open source or mga free ng mga learning management system. Uh, we can't be sure yes. because we're talking about information here. We're talking yeah. about um, academic integrity yes. here also, di ba, Ma'am Enya? Yes, and especially since in the basic education there are minors, we really want them to be safe from their information to be safe. You know, we don't want their data there, their names. We don't want them to go out to other people that are not involved in the FSU community. We want to make sure that our students, not just the basic ed, but every single student we have, across all grade levels, across all years, courses, we want to ensure that their data or their information is safe online. So, mao na siya na importante ang ato ang platform no, na yes. learning management system. Yes. And then, connection to, in connection to synchronous and asynchronous na learning system, no? um, we call it diba, the blended type of learning. Mm -hmm. And then, maybe some students really get uh, confused on online online learning. Yes. Then, di ba maka hear ta sa mga students nga, they always comment or ask sa ato ang mga group chats nga, Sir, mag-class ita. Then, then, there are also questions, di ba, nga, may ngon nga, holiday man tomorrow, so are we going to have classes? To classes, yes. So, I mean, like, um, reading these kinds of messages from students, read, uh, even from parents, right? Reading these kinds of comments and messages, it's quite koan lang, nga, makatawa lang ka ba nga? Uh, all right, so we need to clear them um, regarding that issue also yes. because in blended self paced uh, in blended we can offer a synchronous and synchronous, synchronous right? Yes. And then sa karon we are more on um, asynchronous. Synchronous. So self paced ta. So we talk about self paced. No, it's it's not all about classes anymore. It's not all about conducting classes anymore. But it's all about you learning by yourself, no? At your most convenient time and also as teachers we also have convenient time for for us to check whether you are learning, whether you are accomplishing the task, and then we can keep track of what you have learned as well. Yes, exactly. So knowing that, it means that you have the power to decide at what time you would like to do your lessons. And you could choose what date, what time, so it depends really on you. You have the freedom to choose as long as you accomplish it within the given time frame. So, Tama, no? Like, for example, as for me, I don't have a wired connection at home yes. because um, not really, what do you call this? Napuno na ang koan, ang siguro sa linya na There are no slots na daw. That's always the response by our internet service providers, no? Mm -mm. So, um, ako nag-maintain na lang ko sa prepaid. Mm -hmm. So, what I do is that I always uh, look for, uh, I, I get to be familiar with the times nga uh, okay ang internet, something like that. So, kanda nga time nga okay ang internet, that's the time I upload, I edit my lessons on FSU Learn, and then also as well check the, the progress of my students. Yes, exactly. So, it's more on self-tracking. Okay. So, uh, speaking of keeping track, one of the pressing concerns that we found is that students are getting stressed because of the number of assessments due in their FSU you Learn accounts. So, na ay nagsulti na about 100. Grabe. Napaisa 500. 500, wow! <laughs> so, yes. But there's actually an explanation as to why maabot to ginana na number ang assessments Tama. due. So we've prepared a little video and we hope that this video will ease your stress on the assessments due. So please watch this. One hundred twenty four assessments. I can't 
do all of these in just a week? I want to give up. There's too many things to do. School is making me feel so stressed. Gaidenya, are you okay? No. I am so stressed. There are too many assessments for school. I can't do it all in one week. Sounds really bad. Can I see? Okay. Hmm. 124 assessments due. That is a lot. You see? Hmm. But I don't think you have to worry about all of them. You don't have to do all 100 plus assessments in just a week. What do you mean? There are actually a few reasons why there are so many. Reason number one. Your teacher might have clicked give on assessments that are supposed to be for the next other weeks. When your teacher has clicked give on an assessment, it will still give you an assessment due notification even if the starting date has not arrived. For example, even if we are still in week 1, the assessments for week 2 and so on are being counted on your assessment due because they were clicked as given by your teacher. But you really don't have to worry about it. Even though they are in the count, it does not mean you have to do it this week. Because their starting date is not for this week. You only need to do assessments that are due for the current week and lesson. Remember, there is only one lesson per week. You don't need to do more than one lesson each subject. And I know, it's tempting to do more than one lesson if they are all unlocked. But, your lessons aren't a race. Don't pressure yourself. You really just need to do one lesson per week. Reason number two. The assessment due also counts the getting started with FSUU Learn class. Before you begin with lessons and subjects, the first class you are enrolled in is the getting started with FSUU Learn. If you haven't finished answering the assessments in the class, the assessments due includes it in the count. Reason number three. A lot of these assessments aren't actually tests or quizzes. If some of you have observed, there are discussion boards, process questions, and surveys. Even if they are not quizzes or tests, these are actually included in the count of assessments. And, if you have seen your lessons, there might be one or more discussion boards, surveys, and the likes. These are also part of the count in the assessments too. Try not to worry too much. Not all of these assessments too are quizzes or tests. Some are just questions your teacher gives to see if you understood the lesson along the way. Let me show you. You see those parts that are not beside the blue-green pages? These are all called assessments. 
But not all of them are quizzes, PT, or tests. The word assessments is just a name used to categorize parts of a lesson that involve sharing your ideas and understanding. Let's try to look at one, okay? This is the discussion board. If you can see, there is just one question. Not so hard, right? And it's actually not a quiz. It is like when your teacher asks you a question during discussion time in the classroom. But if you check at the right side, you can see the word assessment. This is what I mean that not all assessments are quizzes, PT, or tests. Assessments is just a name being used to categorize these kinds of parts in each lesson. Let's check another. This time, it is a survey. And a survey is definitely not a quiz, PT, or test. But, as you can see here, it still uses the name assessment. So remember, not all assessments are quizzes, PT, or tests. I think the best thing to do is not to focus too much on the number of assessments due. Instead, let's focus on each individual class one lesson at a time. I guess you're right. I should just open the lesson. And not the assessments too. Yes! And if you think some parts of the lesson are too hard, you can always message your teacher and talk about it. Yes, I'll do that. Thank you, Ari. You're welcome, Guide Anya. Don't pressure yourself, Orions. Learning is not a race. We are all in this together. Living through our times is not as easy as it seems. But we want to make a difference. And we choose to be on, on the sunny, sunny side. side. Father Saturnino Urias University launches on the sunny side. Wednesdays from 10.30 to 11.30 in the morning. Live from our official FB pages and YouTube channel. When things don't seem to make sense, we choose to be on, on the, the sunny side. side. That was a cool video, Guide Enya. Grabe, no? If, I mean, if I was a student and then I was watching that, or maybe a parent, I was watching that video, most of my worries would be cleared off with that video. I mean, judging from the tone, um, I think it is really the feeling of most parents of, of the elementary. Yes. And also feeling of the students, no? Nga, ito, mga students, we talk excited to do their work. And then by Monday, they get to see the assessments. And then, di ba, gloomy na yun, something like that. So it's like what um, what is being said earlier, di ba, nga, when things doesn't really make sense, we chose to be on, on the, the sunny side. side. Yes, exactly. So before we get back to our talk, uh, I would just like to remind everyone, if you have any questions, you can always just ask us below in the comment section. And also, we would like to shout out to our viewers right now. Yes, oh, 200 plus viewers. Yes, <laughs> yes, and uh, I'm really happy that everyone is watching us right now, uh, listening to our talk. So I want to shout out to the different people here, our co-teachers who are 
reacting with heart reacts here in our chat and the students like Charinelle. Charinelle. Yes, John Dre, Riza, and there's even my nephew Lance. So <laughs> thank you for watching. We're still Hi, Tita, apart. Hi, yes. Tita. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm glad you're listening to our talk right now. Yes. So shall we start with our talk or but um I would like also to thank our viewers right now, even though this is what we call Holy Hour, diba? Yeah. We have 200 plus viewers. Yes. And then, I'm, I think if I was a student, I would I would be busy with my school works right now, and then also the parents, right? So again, thank you for being with us um, in this period of the, um, uh, what they call this, the day, nga medyo lami ikatulog or lami i-relax, <laughs> and then you are here relaxing with us, right? <laughs> Thank you so much. So we hope that this talk can also be help you relax from your stress with the assessments too that we mentioned earlier. So we will try to talk about it about the video more. Right. Let's dive into the the, the contents of the video guide and yeah. Let's let's uh, look into it piece by piece now. About um, what they call about this um, learning about the grading of activities guide and yeah. Uh, for the grading, actually, some of these assessments are not graded, okay? Some of the, uh, as what the video showed, there are parts of assessments that are not really quizzes, they're not tests, they're not performance tests. Right. So some of them are actually non-graded activities so that teachers can check whether you have understood the lesson along the way and they want to see what your ideas are what your understandings are of the lesson. So, mura kumbaga, if naa siya sa classroom, di ba na ay discussion times, right? Di ba? Then you, di ba, mag raise hands, mm -hmm. and then, what ideas, tama. Yes. So, di ba, during discussion time, di ba, si teacher, mga tan na siya na, na siya yung mga questions in the middle of discussion. So, mura siya ginana, pero virtual lang siya. But the good thing is, everyone can now participate, right? Unlike yes. sa classroom, no? Uh -oh. Isa isa lang, or, yes. or like, a couple of students lang maka-recite, di ba? Mm -hmm. So, kibali, these assessments give way to students na that are, di, na may uban student na they are shy, di ba? Sir? Yeah. So, that's why dili kay sila mo, mo answers kung na question ng teachers during sa classroom, di ba? Mm -hmm. Pero at least in this way, using assessments na koan, it gives way to those students who actually want to express their ideas but are too shy to express it personally. Tama. So, everyone gets a chance to share their ideas and understanding. Unlike kung katong sa face-to-face, -face, na some specific students lang makashare. So, in this way, assessments are actually a good way for them to express themselves. Yeah, regarding expressing themselves, mm -hmm. you know, when I was looking into the discussion boards mm -hmm. in my lessons, mm -hmm. I am really proud of my students, those, those who are not really, um, what they call this, participating in class, mm -hmm. those who are the silent types. We, we can see, I, I have uh, witnessed how they um, crafted their discussions and how they think about a certain topic. Um, regarding the idea and how they then dito na ako na realize nga alam maayo man siya mo ko ano mo buhat og essay mm -hmm. like that so these are avenues for us to really somehow get to know our students as well yes that's actually right well, cuz there are actually people who are better at expressing using writing diba right. so it's actually a good way for them to express themselves i was also personally surprised but in my own experience uh, i have a discussion board in one of my lessons also the simple lang siya na question, like one-liner lang siya na question, and nag-expect ko na one-liner pa dagi hatag na answer. When I opened the answers, na I opened students, so over check, isa ka paragraph. Isa ka paragraph. Oo, na po, isa na, naka bullet form, naka enumerate na siya. Oo, formal kayo, no? Mm-mm, more siya. And then, makakita agi ko na, it's that, it's the idea from the child yun mismo, kay, kung kaila ka sa bata, like old student siya, nakaila na kadaan sa iyo you know na the way he types shows his personality po na on siya so nakaigod ko na diligid siya diligid siya ka ng magig taken from another source it's really from the child's ideas yeah, you know right. so para makapreciate po ko ba na students can actually express themselves more right. ana and honestly when it comes to um, copying from sources mm -hmm. I, I honestly thought na most students will be gay. Um, copying and then pasting mga kuan kanang ideas, but I was really surprised when I look into ako nga, these are these are quality authentic content that yes. they are sharing yes. nga na bitaw. 
So always like, wow, grabe no mga maayog sa ato mga ato mga audience, mga maayog sila mo right and those kinds of stuff. And then also to clear off um, what we call this mga problema sa assessments. And then and also for those students who are really bothered with the number of assessments. Uh, another thing uh, somehow makamotivate sa ato ah, especially sa students no. Unlike in normal classes, I mean for me in in during a week of discussion after I mean after a week of discussion the stu- my students would somehow be prepared na for uh, for a long quiz in the coming uh, in the next week yes so pag may tag long quiz or unit test they expect na 20 items or more mo na ilang i-prepare mm-hmm. but it doesn't happen in this mode of learning na if you have noticed if everyone has noticed the students the the na ang pinakadaghan na number of items sa mga one lessons kahit ang 10 items lang so we don't do the long quizzes anymore um, students will not like what uh, do overnights kaya para magtuon magandam sa mga long quizzes di ba kahit oh. yes and that's what makes assessments good sure kay they can actually uh, chunk it yeah, down into divide, parts no? yes so dili siya unlike the unit test na tibo siya in one go na daghan kay kagtunan sa isa ka in Quran, in the assessments, it's actually divided into parts na, which you can pause because it's, no, it's asynchronous. So, whenever you're not ready yet, pwede ra na mabalik ka kung kanus aka feel ni mo ready makatake ani na mga assessments. And when it comes to being ready, di ba, kanang ready, mag-prepare na sila. Mag-prepare na sila para mag-quiz na. Mm-hmm. And then, all of a sudden, maputol, di ba? Mm-hmm. O kanang, uy, hila, what happened? Ana, di na ako kakuan. And then, some, there are, of course, there are assessments there are quizzes nga kuan ka nang one attempt lang some are two or three attempts diba pero itong one attempt lang diba pag maka try sila and then tinga sila nga wala na puto lagi o ilang check nila ilang connection okay man akong internet what happened ding ana guide anya what do you think uh, if that happens if their internet connection is good and then more error message ang page and, yeah, or it doesn't load uh, it might be because of site traffic. Mm. So, kaning site traffic, it's when a lot of users go into FSU Learn at the same time. Oh. And then, because of these number of users, because of Dagan ka Aisha, ang tendency is maglisod og dagan ang website. Tama, no? mm-hmm. So, imagine na to more siya in any in real life. Ha? Masakay kag sikad. Okay. If one or two people masakay sa sikad, yes. di ba mo dagan siya, right? Dagan kung oh, okay, two, right? smooth siya. Pero what if six to ten people ang masakay sa sikad, mo dagan siya or dili? Gisod na dagan, oi, di ba? Maglisod na og um, sikad ang um, driver, right? <laughs> mm. <laughs> Musit na lang. <laughs> Musit na lang. Mm. So it's kind of like that kind of situation. So kung dagan ka ang tao sa FSU, you learn at the same time, maglisod yun siya dagan. So what you can do if that happens, if ever that happens, you can either just refresh the page or you can come back when there is less traffic or there are less people on the site. Tama. And then kung example, nag, uh, take ka og assessment niya, one attempt siya, you can just contact your teacher actually. Uh, you can explain to them what happened. Uh, in Anu siya ma'am, nag try ko take sa assessment but nag error ang page niya, one mm-hmm. attempt pa, di na nako maritake. So you can explain that to your teacher, Tama. and your teachers are always happy to help, di ba, sir? Sakto po. And then also, we need to understand na, um, that the site, you know, the platform, is not yet perfect. Mm-hmm. No, nobody's perfect, right? Yeah. Even the teachers, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, it's not perfect yet, but the, the administration, you know, the, the, what do you call this? Ang mga developers, con- uh, they continue to tweak the platform kay para di ato ma-experiencing ang mga problema. I think, Basta mga, maski unsa nga site, they, they experience these kinds of problems. So, we have to be patient, no? atong i, atong i, kuan atong mga values na to, yes. atong core and core values as well, atong nang i, uh, i-uphold, mm-hmm. no? Especially nga, ano, patient ta, we need to understand, mm-hmm. we need to understand the people working behind it. Yes. Nga na, they're doing everything they can kaya para mawala ni nga mga errors. Yes, tama ka, Sir Al. So, we are, just like us, we are constantly developing. So, FSU you learn is also constantly developing and we are thankful that you are being patient with us and understanding that there are really some uh, situations that happen like the katong dilik magload ang page yeah. those kinds of situations 
And actually, ang developer sa FSU you learn, uh, open ka sila to suggestions and open up sila to assist you put if ever. So if you have those, you can actually look at the options put sa FSU you learn and you can help develop the site. Tama, no? Mm -hmm. And then, once again, we would like to thank ang mga uh, viewers na akaron. And then, again, di ba? Holy Hour, and then they are here with us. Yes. Uh, shout out the eyes, oh, another advisory of mine, Andy Ismail Aiko. Hi. We also have Regen Lufranco, Yun, uh, grade 9. And what more? By the way, uh, if you have questions, or maybe ang questions na draw na din na mo maapas, no? Um, <laughs> our team is uh, collecting in yung mga, comment, in yung mga questions or comments. We will um, entertain mo, uh, some of them later on. And then, please still continue uh, to post or comment there kung namoy mga questions, na, namoy mga issues na you want to be uh, raised. And then, we want as much as possible ma-answer na mo sa karon. But before that, let us hear some few reminders. Uh, let's pause for a commercial break. Please watch this. Living through our times is not as easy as it seems. But we want to make a difference. And we choose to be on, on the sunny, sunny side. side. Father Saturnino Urias University launches on the sunny side. Wednesdays from 10.30 to 11.30 in the morning. Live from our official FB pages and YouTube channel. When things don't seem to make sense, we choose to be on, on the, the sunny side. side. Okay. Hello once again. Welcome to uh, welcome back to On the Sunny Side. So uh, before we get back to our talk, I'd just like to have a shout out again to our viewers. So currently we have 149 viewers. Ooh. So that's really still a lot of viewers and I'm happy that you are still watching with us. And I'd like to give a shout out to Rofi from Rufi. Grade 2. So thank you for watching with us. And we also have Luke. And then we have Joshua. We Pashat also have Al Joel. Yes. Uh, Joel Nixer Singh. Yeah, so we have so many viewers right now and I'm really glad that a lot of our students are watching this talk with us. Uh, here's one question though uh, from Clarence Nonan. How do you make studies easier? Wow, that is a question. Mm. How do you make studies easier? I guess um, you cannot really make studies easier, yeah. but I think you can find ways on how to be convenient about your time in studying. 
Siguro, di ba? Guide Enya. What do you think? Wow, parang discussion board question ito. <laughs> okay. So, actually, there's really, it really depends on you. We can't really say how to make studies easier, but you can have study habits that make it easier for you. So, you have to find a way. It's, that's why it's actually important to get to know yourself a lot so that you'll know now which kind of way of learning is more easier for you to do. Like, That's right, no? Like, for example, you need to be familiar kung what time ka nga mas productive mm-hmm. na mag-study. I mean, there's a particular time frame in a day, di ba, nga maayog ka or okay ang imong condition mm-hmm. sa imong mind, right? Yes, exactly. So, nai ubang tao na they are really more better or more active in the morning. And we also have people who are night owls, the, the creatures of the night. Exacto. <laughs> and also, I think... Before pa ni madrown nga comment, right? We have, mm-hmm. uh, um, hello, Mark Ace Chavez. Shout out, no? Shout out kang Daytan Keith Moana. Nay question si Mark Ace Chavez. Mm-hmm. Um, Hi, ma'am and sir. I am concerned if what happens to the quiz if the timer runs out and it only has one attempt. Yun. Mm-hmm. What happens daw if ma, ma- time na siya? Nag-quiz na, ma-time na siya, wapas siya na human. So, one attempt ra. Mm-hmm. Diba? So, it, it, um, as mentioned earlier, Basta one attempt lang, tapos na time na ka, or ni, ni na-exit ka, or let's say for example, nag-run out, na, naputol ka, mm-hmm. automatic na siya nga ma-submit, and then you cannot re- retake it. So what you are going to do is that you need to be honest with it, and then you compare, uh, you you go to your um, advisor or your teacher, no you, you communicate, you ask help, nga yung ani, sir, ma'am, mm-hmm. I had troubles with the quiz lately. No, na, like you say, nakuan, na, na, na hot like time because I had to do this and that. So just be honest and then just be, what, in constant communication with your teacher. Yes, exactly. So, your teachers are actually happy to help you out. So, if ever that happens, so like what Sir Al said, kung mag out ka or na technical problems or unsaba ka, you just have to message your teacher and they can help you out with that. Tama. And then, when it comes to Ingana, um, we have what we call uh, screen time, no? Mm-hmm. So that you can somehow um, have more time sa pagkuha sa quiz, you need to be prepared for it, right? Mm-hmm. So it's better that you study before. You, you can um, have printed naman na mga books na you can study uh, your lessons before you go into FSU Learn, yes. no? And then regarding screen time, if... if um, if everyone has noticed, DepEd has issued uh, or expressed their concern regarding screen time, right? So, there are particular guidelines nga set sa DepEd and this, it was advised for all the schools and all the students as well nga follow Let's look at the, um, what they call this, the guidelines. guidelines of DepEd. So, we have there. Sa DepEd na suggested na screen time. So, pag kindergarten, maximum 1 hour. Grabe, no? Mm, so, pag grade 1 to 5, we have 1.5 hours. That's the whole day, ha? For the whole day. And then, for grade 6 to 8, we have a maximum of 2 hours. And sa senior high, uh, start starting from grade 9 to senior high, we have maximum of 4 hours. That 2 hours sa morning, 2 hours sa afternoon. Grabe, no? So, it, uh, it is... Based on DepEd Memorandum to 2020-00162. So, dapat kita po, mufalo um, taani because we are under DepEd, no? Tingnan di ba kahit enya? Yes, and that's exactly why nagbuhat po taog asynchronous learning. Okay, para if ever you feel like your eyes are tired already or you want to rest, pwede ra ka magpause sa imong lessons niya. Tama. Balik ra ka pag okay na ang imong ko and feeling if you feel that you can go back to your lessons. That's right. Thank you. So, um, in connection to DepEd's recommendation, right, kanang, kay, I think the whole the whole point about DepEd's recommendation, the whole point of um, limiting the screen time of students is the health risk. Mm, diba? Yes. It's the health risk. And then, when you, talk, when you talk about health risk, I mean, before pa ang DepEd, before pa nag-issue ang DepEd ani, before pa nag-start ang ato ang klase, FSU already acknowledged nga na ay health risk when it yes. comes to online learning, di ba, guide Enya? Yes, exactly. So, in addition to DepEd's recommendation, we also have some suggestions for you in regards to that. So, our first suggestion would be to check your screen's brightness. So, 
we really have to make sure na the screens on our phones, uh, laptop, desktop, tab, or whatever device you are using for online learning, we have to make sure that the screen brightness is not too bright or not too dark. Tama-tama lang siya. Just enough for your eyes to be, uh, uh, rather, to avoid eye strain or reduce eye strain. And then, para dili po magsakit ang imong ulo whenever you stare at your screen. Okay? Yes, then, aside from the screen brightness, there are actually uh, options on your devices, like the blue light filter. Yo, na ako, Ana, na feature sa phone. Yes, na all. Okay? <laughs> so, na blue light filter, and then, na apoy uban na, their phones can actually automatically uh, change the brightness. Tama, no? Mo adjust ang imong phone brightness automatically, depending on your... Uh, and depending on the room that you're in, okay. Tama. So I just try so you can do that also. So mas bahay nga nandong a i configure imong phone, your devices configure. Get to know your devices, ah, di mga devices well. Na baka makonfigure ni mo. Of course, that's that's all for your health as well, de ba? Yes, exactly. And aside from adjusting your device, there's also we also recommend that you can print the available discussions or resources found in FSU you learn yes so actually na option you can download the PDFs the PowerPoints the word files sa mga discussions and teachers like that so you can download them and have it printed on recycled paper yes so and then you can read them offline at least makarest imong eyes from using gadgets yeah that's what I advise my students as well nga mag Pwede nyo i-print, you can print that PDF and PowerPoint na mga files na naa sa FSU Learn. And then you can print it, of course, using recycled paper kaya pala makatipid right hand. It can help our mother nature. And also, na-pressing concern. Sabi hindi ako mabasa yung name. Anyway, ang iyang kuhan is mag-kuhan daw mag-pay para sa exam, but dilit daw sila ka-login. Yun! Reminders also sa ato mga parents when you are going to pay for para sa first payment or whatever we call that one right now, you you must use the FSU G Suite account of your children. Dili ka nang inyo hang personal, alright? So you use the G Suite account na na assign or nagigamit sa inyo hang mga children sa pag access sa FSU Learn. And then mo to yung mga meton. And then of course we have the guidelines in. Uh, uh, regarding the payment sa ato ang mga pages sa FSU Butuan City, FSU Basic Education and also sa um, what they call this Preblos na page. Yes, so you can find the schedule and the details for the examination in our FSU Basic Education and FSU Butuan City Facebook pages. Yun, di ba natin, nanay, na-post na ang schedules by the way sa exam na nasa mga ato ang mga respective pages. So, uh, check sa sa schedule because next week na ang exam so yes. di ba better be prepared as early as now or later you can check the schedule and regarding the subjects nga na assign sa kada day regarding sa pag take sa exams so it is also um, it, it is also posted there kung wala ko nimo nakita or naikuan just refresh the page para makita nimo ang uh, announcement kahit inya right yes exactly and uh, so we have a question earlier. There was a parent who opened up for grades 1 to 3. They were asking about the HELA exam for grade 1, 2, and 3. Actually, grade 1, 2, and 3 don't have HELA subject. So, in that day, you will not have a HELA exam. So, only those other two subjects will be, have an exam on that day. Tama. But yes. the, the thing is, you can access naman the whole day. Yes. Uh, katong nga mga assigned nga mga, kuan, nga mga subjects for that day to take the exam. Yes. Right? So again, uh, please be familiar with your connection kung kano sa mga time mo, uh, what they call this, mo take sa exams. And then, uh, one last uh, question uh, coming from our viewers right now. We have Tom Reggie de Samito. What if the assessments are not done in a week and the lessons cannot be open? Wow. Um, Kuhaan din ka ng... Kuha na question ka ng crisp tayo, bitaw, at laro kayo yung question. When it comes to lessons, it's open until the end of the grading. Or open ang mga lessons nga under sa prelim or under sa periodical. Until the exams, open ang lessons. Ang assessments, of course, na ay time-bounded siya. 
Alright? Because we cannot wait naman nga, di man mo makaproceed kung di nyo mabuhat ang assessments po. So, if ever ka to na problema sa assessments, again, communicate with your teacher. Alright? Very considerate atong mga teachers ka ron. Right? Yes. Guide Enya? Yes, exactly. So, I think that's about it. So, uh, we would love to cater more to your uh, questions and shout-outs, no? Pas-pas kayo. Again, thankful me for uh, uh, being with us uh, karon nga day. Uh, last shout-out, we have Al Fulbadora. We have college now. Oh, we have Pundia. Right? Thank you so much. And one more, we have Ma'am Angie Montadas, our co-teacher. Hi. Yeah, so... Thank you everyone for being here with us today. We're really thankful for your presence and taking this time despite na siesta karon na oras. You really took this time and effort to watch us do, uh, talk about the pressing concerns and we're happy that you were here. And uh, once again, if you have other pressing concerns, you can message the pages, our FSU Basic Education page. No, When everything doesn't really make sense, we choose to be on, on the, the sunny, sunny side. side. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>Living through our times is not as easy as it seems. But we want to make a difference. And we choose to be on, on the sunny, sunny side. side. Father Saturnino Urias University launches on the sunny side. Wednesdays from 10.30 to 11.30 in the morning. Live from our official FB pages and YouTube channel. When things don't seem to make sense, we choose to be on, on the, the sunny, sunny side. side.